So I'm Ryan Harrison and I'm the founder of Woof on the Wall. We take your recording of your pet and we turn it into a digital waveform artwork that you can display proudly on the wall. I went to the University of Huddersfield where I studied music technology and from there I became a freelance sound recordist and designer for feature films and TV. So the idea really came from there, my expertise with dealing with sound and also my interest in graphic design. I've got two dogs, um, they're both sausage dogs and I absolutely love them to bits and I was doing the sound design for a feature film and it required to have a sample of a dog barking. So. I went and recorded our dogs and I visually saw what their backs looked like and it, it was so unique. I thought, I wonder what that would look like on the wall as a, a piece of artwork. I think it's amazing to actually see visually what they sound like. I think it's quite a unique thing that, you know, no one's ever really seen before. Waiting, all of my life. I made the first woof on the wall for my family at Christmas. Uh, for my dogs and it was so well received with uh, everyone that came to see them that I decided that it's something everyone should have in the home. We take the recording of your pet and we filter out all the extra noise so we're left with your complete pet unique waveform, it's just the waveform. We then process this through some beautifying software where we colour this and make it personal to your taste. We then add text to this uh, which you can change on the website when you're ordering and then this is then later printed once it's been approved. We transform your sample into a very unique and personal piece of art. So if you compare the waveforms, this one is from an English Springer Spaniel, so it's quite a large dog. So it's got the loud, sharp attack on the waveform, and then we've got the quick decay, so you'd expect that to be a short but loud bark of a bigger dog. If we compare this to a Basset Hound, um, we can see that it's a longer waveform, where you get the howl, which is typical of a hound dog. Flicking back, you can see the bass frequencies in the middle, highlighted in the different colour. Uh, this shows that it's a larger dog with a larger chest, compared to the hound, which gives off more of a howl, which is more of a constant bass and treble frequencies. While developing the company, I've ummed and ahed about different types of papers and inks. After receiving lots of advice from people in the printing specialist world, I quickly found that using pigment inks is the only way to create a print that lasts a long time and looks visually cool. These inks are the only inks I'd consider um, for a print that I care about. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like what we do at Wolf on the Wall, please like and share this video and visit our website www.wolfonthewall.co.uk for more information on other products we sell and more about what we do. All the lights are a flashing, all to the rhythm of a passion.